Hi, I'm Dr. Christina Dervatis, an obstetrician gynecologist in Newmarket, Ontario, Canada. Thanks for coming back to my channel, Talking IUC with Dr. D. In today's video, I decided to symbolically uh, switch locations in my office for filming uh, because today we're going to be talking about a topic that's a little bit different from that of the previous videos. I'm still going to be talking about the intrauterine device or um, also known as IUC uh, for intrauterine contraception or IUS for intrauterine system. Um, but in today's video, we're going to talk about using the levonorgestrel IUS specifically, uh, the 52 milligram levonorgestrel IUS. Uh, so in Canada, the one that's available is Marina. In the US, there's also Leleda that's available. Today we're going to be talk about, talking about using this device specifically for the treatment of heavy periods and or painful periods. Now, a lot of patients don't realize that this is actually one of our first line options as gynecologists for treating heavy um, and or painful menstrual cycles. Uh, I'll see a patient in my office who's come for that problem and start talking about this as a treatment option and they'll say, well, wait a minute, I don't need a uh, contraception, I don't need an IUD, I've had my tubes tied or my partner's had a vasectomy or I'm not sexually active, I don't need this. And I have to explain to them that actually we use this quite commonly for treating uh, many um, menstrual bleeding uh, disorders and uh, causes of painful uh, menstrual bleeding. Um, much like if you think about it, the birth control pill for years has been one of our go-to uh, options for helping women with heavy and painful periods, even though some of those women might not require contraception. Similarly, the levonorgestrel IUS uh, is used uh, in women who might not need contraception, but who need help with their uh, menstrual cycles. Um, to explain a little bit about how the levonorgestrel IUS works, so the uh, uh, hormone contained within it is progesterone, progesterone only, there's no estrogen um, in the uh, levonorgestrel IUS. Uh, as opposed to the birth control pill, which has both estrogen and progesterone. So the progesterone in the IUS is slowly released for up to a five year period of time, and it thins out the lining of the uterus. The analogy that I use with my patients, um, if you consider uh, the two hormones that are, are responsible for changes in the menstrual cycle, estrogen and progesterone, I ask patients to consider estrogen like the fertilizer and progesterone is sort of like the lawnmower, if you will, thinning things out um, and decreasing the actual amount of endometrial lining that is shed each month. And when the levonorgestrel uh, IUS is in place, it's sort of like, I use this analogy, it's like mowing the lawn every day. Um, and for that reason, that's why up to 30% of patients using the uh, levonorgestrel IUS, up to 30% of patients may not have any menstrual bleeding, not because something is being built up um, or left behind. A lot of patients are afraid of that and think it's not healthy or natural not to bleed, but it's sort of simply like mowing the lawn every day. If you're doing that every day, if the progesterone exposure is there every day, then there's not really a whole lot of endometrial lining to build up. And so that's why menstrual bleeding is less or sometimes almost non-existent. Um, the lever and adjustal IUS, I have to say, has revolutionized uh, modern day gynecology. Um, over the last two decades, because of the use of this device, uh, many, many women have been able to um, avoid surgery and specifically to avoid having hysterectomy. Uh, in some of the original tri trials that we looked at um, this device, we uh, tested uh, a patient population that was having such bad bleeding problems that they actually were waiting for a hysterectomy and decided to try this option in the interim while they were waiting. And in that landmark study, uh, almost half of the patients in the study, after trying the levonorgestrel IUS, almost half of the patients canceled their hysterectomy because they were so happy with the result from the levonorgestrel IUS. In terms of results, 90% of women will notice less heavy periods, 70% will notice less painful periods, and as I mentioned, up to 30% may barely even have a menstrual cycle at all. 
In terms of uh, other treatment uh, treatments um, or conditions that we use the levonorgestrel IUS as treatment, it's also been shown to be effective in women who uh, have a condition called endometriosis. Uh, similarly, there's been some articles published with regards to this device and treatment of something called adenomyosis uh, and um, also has been uh, shown to decrease the size of uterine polyps in some studies. So those are some other indications. Now, without getting into a whole lecture about all of the different potential causes for heavy periods or painful periods, I will say that not every single patient who's suffering from um, heavier painful periods may necessarily be a candidate for a levonorgestrel IUS. And obviously as a gynecologist, that's part of my job is to assess a patient's general medical history, their other medical conditions, and also the actual, uh, what I think are the actual causes of uh, the heavy or painful menstrual cycles. Um, in some situations, a patient may just have heavy and painful menstrual cycles. It doesn't necessarily mean that there's pathology or problem going on, um, but in some situations we may elect to do further testing, such as ultrasounds, um, such as uh, a sampling of tissue called an endometrial biopsy. So as a gynecologist, my job is to sort of do what we call a workup of what we think might be causing the heavier painful periods, and then I would decide uh, whether that patient is a candidate for uh, a levonorgestrel IUS or whether I think that she might be helped by a levonorgestrel IUS. Um, in terms of uh, some conditions that we sometimes can't use a levonorgestrel IUS, fibroids are a benign growth of the muscle layer of the uterus. They're very common. They sometimes cause heavy um, menstrual bleeding depending on their location. So when I'm talking to a patient who has fibroid related bleeding, we sometimes will do a more specialized ultrasound to further delineate the exact location of the fibroids as to whether or not I think they're a cause of their heavy periods and also whether or not the location of the fibroids may have a uh, bearing on whether or not a levonorgestrel IUS uh, might be a good idea or not. Um, as I've talked in my previous videos, um, and now I will say this, all of the information in my previous videos pertain as well to um, the levonorgestrel IUS when we're using it for this indication, um, because I talk in the previous videos about some of the potential uh, side effects, some of the potential benefits, some of the risks, um, and regardless of whether or not you're using it for contraception or for period issues, or in many cases, for both, um, all of that information in my previous videos still applies. Um, and as well, there's a, a video that I did that uh, discusses who can or can't use an IUD um, or a levonorgestrel IUD. So I definitely would refer you back to those videos for more information um, because all of that still applies regardless of the indication for the levonorgestrel IUS. Um, in terms of one of the reasons that levonorgestrel IUS is considered one of the first line options, the advantage is providing the medication that's needed to treat the condition in, uh, in question. We're providing the medication directly to the lining of the uterus where it needs to do its job as opposed to an injection or a pill, which generally has to go all throughout the body um, to reach the uterus to do its job. And so because of this delivery mechanism for the hormones, the overall rate of other body or what we call systemic side effects um, or other body hormonal side effects is very, very low. And I, again, have addressed that issue in um, a previous video. Um, but that's one of the advantages. Advantage one is direct delivery of the hormone to the lining of the uterus where it needs to work with less absorption into the rest of the bloodstream, less effects on other body um, organs or less hormonal side effects. The second advantage is that it doesn't contain estrogen, which really isn't necessary in this situation to treat the problem. The main hormone in question that we need to work is progesterone. So as opposed to the birth control pill where you're getting estrogen and progesterone with the IUD uh, or levonorgestrel IUS, you're really just getting the progesterone that's needed to treat the uh, heavier painful menses. 
Um, and of course, in terms of um, convenience, the advantage over taking pills or over injections or other treatment methods um, is the fact that once the IUD is placed after a five minute procedure uh, in the office, the patient doesn't have to remember to take a pill every single day. It's there doing its job for five years. Uh, and in some women who are close to the menopause, when the levonorgestrel IUS has been uh, inserted uh, at age 45 or greater, it can actually be extended uh, for use up to seven years. So this was just a very um, general um, introduction video uh, to talk about the concept of using the levonorgestrel IUS uh, for treatment of uh, menstrual disorders. And again, as I traditionally end each video, I'll just close by saying that in less than the time that it took for you to watch this video, you uh, could have had an IUD inserted. The whole procedure usually takes about five minutes and provides five years of uh, worry-free contraception. And in some instances, up to five years of less heavy, less painful menstrual cycles. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.